Hi, my name is Gloria Robert. Today we shall be looking at the topic excretion. Objectives of lesson. During the course of the lesson, the learners should be able to 1. Define the term metabolism. 2. Mention the two types of metabolism and their examples. 3. Define the term excretion. 4. Mention at least two reasons for excretion. And 5. List at least five organisms, their excretory organs and their excretory waste products. Now before we discuss excretion, let's look at the concept metabolism. What is metabolism? Metabolism is the various reactions or activities that take place in the cells of organisms. We have two types of metabolism and so it is grouped into 1. Catabolism 2. Anabolism Now let's discuss them one after the other. Number 1. Catabolism This has to do with a series of reactions in which complex or large molecule substances are broken down to form simpler or small molecules. We can see these reactions during digestion, respiration and fermentation processes. For example, during digestion, large molecules such as carbohydrates are broken down into glucose, fructose or galactose. Large molecules such as protein is broken down into several small amino acids. During fermentation, large molecules such as glucose is broken down into carbon dioxide, alcohol or lactic acid. Number two is anabolism. This has to do with a series of reactions in which several or small simpler molecules are combined, they build up to form large or complex molecules. Now we see these reactions or anabolic reactions during photosynthesis, formation of glycogen, during growth reaction and formation of proteins. For example, during photosynthesis, small molecules such as carbon dioxide and water build up or come together to form a large molecule known as glucose. This is the food manufactured in plant during photosynthesis. However, take note that during anabolic reaction, energy is needed for the process. So in summary, catabolism we can say, large molecule is broken down into several small molecules. Anabolism, small molecules build up or join together to form large molecule. Metabolic processes occur in the cells of organisms and the waste products formed during the processes are called excretory waste products. Now these wastes are removed from the body by the process excretion. So our topic for today is excretion. Now excretion, remember, has to do with the removal of those wastes that are produced inside the cell during certain reactions known as metabolic reactions. So what is excretion? Excretion can be defined as the process by which metabolic waste products are removed from the body of living things. We can also define excretion as the removal of waste products of metabolism from the body of an organism. Now why excretion? Why is excretion necessary? Excretion is necessary in order to remove poisonous nitrogenous waste such as urea, uric acid and ammonia and also to remove excess materials which are produced in the body such as excess water, excess salt, excess glucose and so on. Now, why this? This is because if they are allowed to accumulate in the body of an organism, over the time they can become harmful or toxic and affect the normal metabolic functioning in the body of an organism, meaning the organism becomes sick or unfit. So let's look at certain organisms, their excretory organs and their excretory waste products. Now, organism number one, we are looking at protozoa. Examples of protozoa, we have amoeba, paramecium, oglena, and so on. Now, what is the excretory organ? The excretory organ of protozoa is called contractile vacuole. Now, if you look at the image below, you see the part labeled contractile vacuole. This is a structure that can take in excess water. When it gets fed up, it bursts open, the cell membrane bursts open, and also releases the waste products. So what are the excretory waste products produced? We have carbon dioxide, ammonia, which is a nitrogenous waste in gaseous form. We have excess water removed from them. Now the organism we are looking at is flatworm. Now examples of flatworm, we have planarian, tapeworm, liver fluke, and so on. 
what is the excretory structure? They make use of the flame cell. So the flame cell is the excretory structure organ of planaria or flatworm. Now what are the excretory waste products? They can take out carbon dioxide, urea and water. Now urea is nitrogenous waste in liquid form. So let's look at the organism insects. Examples of insects, we have cockroaches, housefly, mosquitoes, bees, and so on. What do they use for excretion? They make use of a structure called Malpighian tubule. So look at the image here, you see the part labeled as the Malpighian tubules. The excretion waste products include carbon dioxide and uric acid. Now uric acid is a nitrogenous waste in solid form. The organism we are looking at again is fish. Tilapia, shark, mackerel, and so on are examples of fishes. The excretory organ is the kidney. Also, they can also make use of gills for removing excretory waste products. So, excretory waste products include carbon dioxide, which is removed by the gills, ammonia, which is also removed by the gills, and water. However, kidney can also be used to remove urea. Another organism we are looking at, yes, aphibia. Examples of aphibia, we have salamander, we have toad, frog, newt, and the rest. Now, reptiles, examples of reptiles, we have lizard, snake, war gecko, crocodile, and so on. Now, what do they use for excretion? The excretory organ is called kidney. Now, the excretory waste products include water, carbon dioxide, and salt. Okay, let's look at the organism annelids. Examples of annelidas, we have earthworm, tubeworm, leech, and so on. They make use of a structure called nephridia to remove excretory waste. So when we have two or more, we call it nephridia, but one is called nephridium. Now a nephridium has two openings, one inlet known as the nephrostom and an outlet known as the nephridiospore. Now excretory waste products produced in nephridia include water, carbon dioxide, and urea. The organism we are also looking at, we have birds. Examples of birds, we have eagle, fowl, peacock, pigeon, duck, and so on. They also use kidney as their excretory organ. So the excretory organs of birds, yes, kidney. Now excretory waste products include carbon dioxide, water vapor, and urea. Okay, let's talk about flowering plants. Another example of organism, we have flowering plants such as maize plants, orange plants, hibiscus plants, rose plants, and so on. Remember, excretion is one of the characteristics of living things. And the two types of living things are plants and animals. So plants too can carry out excretion. So what do they use for excretion? They make use of their stomata and their lenticels. The stomata are found in their leaves on the surfaces of the leaves so this stomata is tiny opening that can allow carbon dioxide into the leaf and oxygen out of the leaf and on the stem of plant we have tiny scar like structure called lenticels which are also used for excretion so excretory waste products in plants we have oxygen we also have anthocyanin anthocyanin is a pigment responsible for the different colors in plants such as color purple, color yellow, color blue, color pink, and so on in plants. So it's a pigment responsible for colors in plants, especially flowers. Other excretory waste products, we have tannin, gum, water, alkaloids, mucilage, oil, resin, and lactose. Finally, we are going to talk about the organism, mammals. Example, you. They are very correct, you. So we have man, goat, cat. Now the excretory organs, we have lung, skin, liver, kidney. And what are their waste? Now the lung excretes water vapor and carbon dioxide. The skin excretes water and salt through our body sweat. So when you sweat, we have water and salt as the excretory waste inside. The liver excretes a bipigment called bilirubin. And so the kidney, which is the main excretory organ in body of mama, helps to excrete water, mineral salt, creatinine, ions, and urea. Remember that urea is what? Yes, nitrogenous waste in liquid 
form. So these are the images showing all the organs of excretion in mammal. Okay, remember that excretion is different from ingestion and secretion. Remember I said that excretion has to do with the removal of waste products that are formed during metabolic reactions in cells. Okay, so ingestion is the removal of solid undigested food waste products from the body through the anus. So when you go to the toilet, what you are doing is called ingestion. It is not excretion. Why? Because the waste is not from body cells. Therefore, we can conclude that the anus is not an excretory organ and the feces that is passed out through the anus is not an excretory waste either. And then what is secretion? Secretion is the release of useful materials from the site of production to where they are used up in the body. So hormones, enzymes and mucor can be secreted and these materials are actually useful for one thing or the other in the body of organisms. Wow, we've come to the end of the class. We have students' activity. These are questions for you to attempt. Just go through them. I believe you'll be able to attempt them all. But if not, don't worry. Go back to the video. Watch it again. Listen. Download it if you have to. And I believe at the end, you'll be able to attempt them all. Yeah, this is the answer to all the student activities questions. We have 10 questions and 10 answers. So it's time for you to mark yourself. Like I will always say, I hope you have 100%. If not, never mind. Go back to the video. Share this video with others. Tell people about it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. View it. Press the notification button. Okay, at this time, I want to thank you for joining me in this session. Thanks for learning.